the process is called registering at the hospital or in the hospital. years ago I posted a video on how to apply for your birth certificate in Jamaica. That video highlights the website, how to acquire forms to apply for the birth certificate, how to apply for it online, how to apply for it manually and a lot more. What I realized is that the video didn't share what leads you to the point of applying for your birth certificate in Jamaica or what process takes you to the point of applying for your birth certificate in Jamaica. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you just that. Before you reach the point of actually applying for the birth certificate in Jamaica, you will have to go through this process. Or some of you might go through this process. The process is called registering at the hospital or in the hospital. After a baby is born, the Register General's Department sends a representative called a registration officer to the bedside of the mother while they are still in the hospital. This registration officer wants you to write down your child's name in order for them to spell it correctly or spell it the way you want it to be spelled. Another thing they ask for is the sex of the child, whether your child or children are male or female. They also ask for the date of birth of the child. Now bear in mind that the reason they ask this is because these officers don't necessarily come to you the same day you have baby. They might take a few days before they come and visit your bedside. Another thing they ask for is the name of the parent or parent. They don't normally ask you to necessarily write this down. They ask you for the identification of the parent or the parent. So it could be your driver's license, your national ID, your passport, just a valid ID to state who you are because they want to ensure that they also spell the name of the parent or the parents properly when registering the child. Now, you hear me say parents, meaning mother and father. Not at all times is the father present when you are registering the child at the bedside. Now, don't worry about this. If the father's name should go on the child's birth certificate, it will. If he's not present at that time, he can add his name at a later date as long as it is no later than six weeks after the baby or babies are born. Another thing that they request from you to register your child or children is your occupation. Occupation meaning are you a teacher, are you a clerk, are you an accountant, whatever your occupation is, they will ask you for that as well. Bear in mind that you might say, why don't they like ask me for my address or telephone number or district or because some of those things are listed on the birth certificate when you get that. The thing is, most of your information is already recorded at the hospital. So this registration officer gets some of your information from the hospital already. So that is why they don't ask you for every little thing or every little information because some of it is already recorded at the hospital. Another requirement of you is to pay a small fee of $300. I am not sure if that fee has increased since last year when I checked, but it is considered the registration fee. So after you present all of these requirements to the registration officer at your bedside, you are then given a certificate of registry of birth. 
This is also known as the red and white piece of paper. This certificate proves as evidence that your child or children are registered citizens of Jamaica, but this certificate of registry of birth is only valid for two months. So after a two month period, you need to send in an application to get a birth certificate. Hope you have been realizing the difference in names. So certificate of registry of birth is different from birth certificate, like the official birth certificate. Whenever after your two months temporary period is up with the certificate of registry of birth and you are applying for the birth certificate, you are entitled to a free copy. This is just a RGD standard where you receive your first copy free. That is if you want to because what I realize is that when you receive this copy of the birth certificate, it actually has the word free copy on it, very visible. And a lot of people don't really feel comfortable having a document that says free copy. So let's recap about all that I have said in case you have missed anything. I am sharing with you the process that is taken before actually applying for a official birth certificate. This process is called birth registration within the hospital. So after you give birth to a child or children in the hospital, RGD, Registered General's Department, has a representative or a registration officer who registers your child at the bedside while the mother is still in the hospital. They ask you to write down a few things and that is the child's name, the date the child was born, the gender of the child, your name, the father's name if he's present at that time, and your occupation. But what if you didn't give birth at a hospital? How will your baby or babies be registered as a citizen of the country? Look out for part two of birth registration process explained in Jamaica next week. Later peeps!